Hey all, I'd like to share some of the work I've been doing with the APC-40 MK2 model from Akai. This is a MIDI control surface. This is an addressable set of banks on the bottom that control these eight dials on the side. This is the bank which controls the spinning characteristics, which is this right here. Spinning control and response, as well as drift into the turn. The top dials are all the major aspects which are detailed down the right hand side of the screen. This is top speed. This is acceleration, uh, different, different factors which cam drift, cam lag, uh, response time of controls, automatic leveling. Uh, this controls the arm length. Arm length is very important, sort of give you a feeling of attachment to the figure, to your avatar. And this naturally is the field of view. I bump that out to about 80. Now each of these dials is a one is a zero to uh, 127 value. You can see on the field on the uh, arm length that it's a smooth adjustment in and out from minimum to uh, maximum. This bank controls the camera lens characteristics. This dial is quite unique on the APC. Instead of just sending a value of zero to 127, this sends updates depending on the speed that you turn the dial. Uh, so this allows for very fine adjustment. You can see we're working at less than one unit. Turning it faster moves it quicker. And then turning it very fast gets into the thousands. We're going to work with the uh, kilometer distance now. This is the distance in kilometers to 50% of total blur. And set that out like that just for a good feeling. And the amount of blur is handled with this dial right here. These dials position are stored in memory by the APC-40. So when I switch banks, this is back to the, the spin and yaw settings. This sends a fresh update of these buttons over to Unreal to uh, reinitialize their location. Same thing with back to these. Now if you have multiple banks, which I do not have those initiated now, you can put the settings. This is bank number six. You can set your dials to different values, whatever those are accessing. Go to bank number five, go back to camera settings. These are uh, updated. So this is like having, this is eight buttons here. This is eight different settings. It's like having that many, access to that many dials. Uh, the dials across the top do not change with the banks and the sliders do not change with the banks. You can move as many sliders as you want simultaneously and they will all update in the engine. Acceleration feels a little bit too high. Let's bump that down. Maximum speed feels better about in the 7000 range. That's a more realistic feeling. Drift. Drift and recenter. Vertical lag is good. Let's just check a little proximity here. All right, that has a good feeling to it. So a little bit more about the APC. This has been around for quite a while. All of these buttons are individually uh, RGB addressable, so they can show everything. You could access them in terms of a display even, to show levels, to show different levels of things, or even a position in an XY field or a vertical field. This is the tempo button. You notice it just sends a signal of uh, plus or minus, but again, by measuring the rate of that turning and connecting it to a spring variable, you can get a lot of you can get momentum effects like spinning a turntable. The wide view angle changes the perception of speed a lot but reduces the attachment to the character. Now, doing the same thing but same field of vision, very wide but a tight 
tight arm length now we get a completely different feeling especially across the ground close now this is disorienting and quite almost in induces motion sickness for me anyway yeah this is this is bordering on unflyable all right so that is some of the work that i've been doing to get variable updating using a MIDI device with the nice satisfactory feeling of dials with the feedback that's involved and the ability to adjust multiple variables simultaneously uh, on the engine and get the feeling of that for real-time flight. That is the update for July 17th 2020 and that is going to do it. Thank you for watching.